for me to shine light on it. It's very, very important for you. Now, if you want to expose evil, if not, it's a little scary, you could say, because it's like, well, what if they come, well, baby, in the season I'm in right now, I ain't got nothing to lose. Welcome back to the best YouTube channel on the planet. It is me or Mia Washington, and this is another Bible talk. This is Ephesians 5, 12 through 14. I always talk about Ephesians 5 through 11, but I never really talk about 12 through 14. So let's get into that. So 12, it is shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly people do in secret, secret societies, but their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. My job. For the light makes everything visible. This is why it is said, awake, O sleeper, rise up from the dead and Christ will give you light. So it's shameful. It's it's so, and I think that's kind of why I'm in this crisis because I had to be exposed to these people, to this evil, to this I'm Yeah, I'm going through it <laughs> right now. Die by fire. Um, it's so shameful, you know, to even like, I don't understand. And I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a conversation with my enemies a little later on one of these videos. Like y'all really I just don't get it. Like you sat there. Well, I mean, okay, okay, okay. So people make deals with demons and deities for power and authority here on earth. But they do it at the risk of their future. People just I realize they just really, really don't care. But it's so shameful. Back to the word, it's so shameful to talk about the ungodly, unholy. And I'm not just talking about sin, which is bad. These people are out here sacrificing children, doing satanic rituals. I just found out there was a such thing as a demonic baptism. So now I got to expose that. But it's so evil. And verse 13, but their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. And I feel like that's my job. If I was never attacked, I would have never had to do a deep dive. It's very, very important to study your attackers. It is very, very important to study your enemies. You have to know who you're fighting against. You have to know your God, the Heavenly Father. But it's very, very important because if you can study your enemies and study their tricks and traps, you will be able to withstand. You will be able to stand firm on the word of God and know, hey, this is a trick. This is a scheme. Like what I'm going through right now is a satanic trap. I see it from a mile away. I see it. And I'm speaking fire. I'm speaking die by fire to that satanic trap in the name of Jesus on earth as it is in heaven. I am speaking death to every satanic trap, every satanic spirit, every satanic human agent that is trying to make their way in, die by fire in the name of Jesus. You got to go. So it is very, very important for me to shine light on it. It's very, very important for you. Now, if you want to expose evil, if not, it's a little scary, you could say, because it's like, well, what if they come, well, baby, in the season I'm in right now, I ain't got nothing to lose. What the devil is after, I ain't got nothing to lose. So you have to be very, very mindful. And at the end, the word says, for the light makes everything visible. If you can see it, then it's like you can make a decision. Okay, I see with the deception. Let me decide if I want. Like, for example, and this is not what I should be saying in this video, because we shouldn't be in, in relationships anyway if we're not married necessarily. But let's say you're in a relationship with a guy or you're in a relationship with a girl. And you think you got a feeling, a little suspicion that they cheating on you. However, you get hardcore evidence. You catch them in the act. For example, you catch them holding hands or something like that. You catch them out on a date with that person. Now, it's visible. You can see. You were delusional before. You had a suspicion before. But now you can actually see your mate, the person that you think is your boyfriend or girlfriend, or your husband or your wife. You can see them cheating on you. Make it visible. Now, some people want to deny, no, that was my cousin. That was my friend. I was just holding their hand. Oh, we weren't having sex. We were just staring at each other in bed with no clothes on. But when you visible, like you can make a decision, okay, whether you want to go back, whether you want to stay, however. So it's my job and it's your job to make, shine light and make things visible. So I feel like when things are visible, you can make the decision whether you want to continue to walk in sin or you want to you want to walk in the will of God for your life. So leave it down below what you guys think. I wish you nothing but the best.